Hello there everybody, Billabo10000 here, bringing you another episode of Mine Ventures on Mineverse. And today, we're on the creative server on my first plot to take a look at my parkour course that I'm submitting to the parkour server. This is a skyblock parkour, pretty much it's a story-driven parkour with a kind of skyblock narrative and a nice little twist at the end, as you can see. So, we start here, and we're introduced to the tale about a man. He appeared on an island. He didn't know how he got there, but he was trapped. So, we have to parkour and continue parkouring until we reach the next island, and the next island will contain more to the story. So, it makes it more interesting uh, to carry on, and it gives more incentive to make it to the end. The man decided to expand his island, to make his own home. He grew trees and created a water source. This is a checkpoint. Uh, the checkpoint isn't implemented because it implements itself when the mods bring it over to par course, but that's where a checkpoint will be because this is a medium map, so there are more checkpoints than I would like. He built a home, and his island grew. It was looking great, and then he found a new island. So he's built a nice little wood hut, he's got new trees, he's got a water source, and then, like in Skyblock, you discover the desert island. And that's when shit gets real, excuse my language. As you can see, you can checkpoint here. A desert, le gasp. More stuff to take to the original island. And then he found something. Also, because cacti can't be used in, uh, in the creative server, this is what I'm using as a cactus. A cactus cacti. Now, when you reach the stone, or uh, the sandstone, the parkour does get a lot harder. You're gonna need to do a bit of running and jumping in order to actually make the parkour. So, it's it's pretty tough, actually. Uh, but I mean, like, it, it's you've got to just be confident at parkour, really, if you wanna if you wanna do good. Look at my face over there. Ah, okay. I'm gonna just uh, go straight from here. I'm gonna see if we can do this in one go, because I know all all the jumps are possible. I've tested them all before, so I know they're all possible. I mean, I think this one was a bit cruel. I might change it, because I I think. For a medium audience, it is incredibly cruel. Because medium players, I don't think will be used to this kind of jump. Luckily, there literally is a checkpoint just there, so it's not really too bad. But even so, it is such a cruel jump. And I I've done this much better beforehand. I'm just, I'm just kind of sucking today. All right, let me just, I want to do it. Because this is my, this is my own parkour. If I can't do my own parkour, then yeah, there we go. If I can't do my own parkour, then what can I do? So yes, there is a hidden chamber. It was in this chamber that a fabled obsidian block was found. And he took it! Took it, I say! And here we have still a cactus, I swear. I'm being serious, guys. That is a cactus. That is a legit... Did I really just do that? <laughs> it is a legit looking cactus. Alright, and magically, because we've left the Standy Island, we've gone back to dirt, because we're about to enter the nether. Checkpoint, the man created a portal to the nether, and now his island would never be the same again. So his island has moved a bit, the two trees have moved, he's opened it up a bit, and he made a bit of a big, bigger nether portal than I wanted to initially make. And you need to get a running start into the nether portal if you want to make it into the nether, because that is a four block jump, and if you don't have a running start, four block jumps are friggin' tough. Like, that that's just from experience and parkour experience. Alone. Okay, this is one of those ones that you might want to get a run up from this. If you if you jump from the very back of this block, you can do that. But then there's also a sign on that on the house roof that's like, oh yeah, this is kind of just useless. You came here for no reason. Na 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 na. Aha, we've made it to Nether Park. Lo loving the Nether Quartz tree. The Nether fire burned at his skin, but the man went on. He needed to find new supplies. He had to. And there is actually a secret here, because in parkour, there are a lot of secret rooms. This secret room, if you just kind of go on down, takes you to the nether strip pole, and somebody has broken the nether strip pole. Somebody broke it. I don't know who, but somebody... Hmm. Alright, let me try that again. There we go. Somebody put a hole there when you really shouldn't, because that hole is there so that the, nether doesn't, the, the, the lava doesn't spill in, because I don't think the signpost thing works too well, and I want you guys to be able to get back out. Okay, 
So, now we get into the temple of the Nether Fortress. And there's a checkpoint here because I'm a nice person and fence post parkour is just not fun to do. I believe there was a, uh, a checkpoint as well uh, at the island where the nether portal is, so it's, it's, I, I think I put the checkpoints down rather fairly. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I think I've been incredibly fair with checkpoints in this map. Of course, the mods can disagree with me and they can add more, less, or change the whereabouts of said checkpoints as they see fit. I just want to hope. I just want this map to get accepted. Honestly, that that's just my big kind of dream at the moment. I want I want to see it get accept, accepted because I want to be able to play my own map and have other people on the actual server play it and talk about it. He had no idea how long it had been, but he. I crashed. No. Okay. He had no idea how long it had been, but he made it into the heart of the temple and altar lay there, and it mentioned a place called the End. We're going to the end, and we're probably going to crash again. Now, I had to do this because ends and end, end portal frames are not allowed in the creative server, so I made it kind of like a nether end thing, and the jumping into the portal, I made it kind of like change uh, areas to make it feel more different. Okay, this is uh, the final checkpoint. The Ender Dragon, his final obstacle. It was time. He destroyed the towers, and now his last attack. Climb the tower and smite the dragon down. And now, it's a case of some friggin' ladder parkour. So, let's climb up the ladders, and let's get this going. Because you guys know how much I love ladder parkour, and you know how easy my ladder parkour is. I I'm, as I said, this is a very story-driven uh, parkour course, and I want people to experience the story, so I'm not gonna make the parkour impossible. I want people to experience the story, I want them- DAMN IT! As I was saying, I wanted the story to be kind of normal, uh, I wanted people to really get to feel the story, I wanted people to experience it, really. And that that's why the course isn't impossibly difficult or in the hard category, because I want people to experience the, the story and Tale of the Man, because I want to make a sequel map, and I need this one accepted to do that. Final checkpoint. I forgot this one was there. This is just because this final stretch is a little bit unforgiving if you're not very good at your jumps. I'm going to uh, blame my failure on that last jump just embarrassingly on the fact that I just kind of sucked at that jump. But Oh god, this is a four block. I forgot. Okay, I need to just... Boom! There we go. And some easy jumps just to kind of get going, and then it's a... Damn it! Oh yeah, there's a scrambler thing. It's kind of... Well, oh, these people would never have won if they were... Oh god, fuck. Excuse my language. Yeah, this is a four block jump to end it off, which is why I've got that checkpoint. But yeah, if you make it, he defeated the dragon. A roar and it was dead. The tower was ripped open. There was a way back. He could return to his island, to his home. He had slain a dragon, survived the nether. The darkness scared him, chilled him, but he had to. So he fell. And you get 20 gems. I think this is a very good course. I very much enjoy it. And, I mean, it's my course. I've got to enjoy it. But I personally think that it is an interesting course that I think people would like. Uh, just if you want to be curious about what else is in my, uh, my plot, that's a house one of my friends made. This is a giant obstacle course that I made, and it's kind of cool. Only one person really managed to get through it because the parkour of the ice was a bit confusing. And this is the setup for a skin competition. Skin competitions are where you lock people in chambers and you judge their skins and you rate them. And I'm just going to give you a sneak peek at my latest project on this creative server, which I guess you guys can take a look at. Minecraft Mario Party. And that will be what we are discussing in the next episode of Mine Ventures on Minevast Creative. If you've enjoyed this episode of Mine Ventures on Minevast, feel free to leave a like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Huh.
Oh, hey. I think Hair put that down. Oh, Hydro's on. He's a mod. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.